So you can see how flaky it is. That's how you know it's cooked well, super moist. Um, now it's just about how it tastes. Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and welcome to part two of our salmon cooking series. If you missed part one, we cooked some salmon on the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. And if you're wondering where all this delicious salmon's coming from, it's coming from British Columbia. That's right, my dad and our owner, Mike, went on the best fishing trip of a lifetime. We traveled to British Columbia and uh, brought back over 100 pounds of delicious salmon. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, there you go, Brian. <laughs> Five minutes and 11 seconds before you hold it. It looked pretty sweet, huh? Let me tell you, it was the trip of a lifetime. We had a great time. And with all that awesome fish we brought back, we wanted to prepare it in a few different ways. So today what we're gonna be doing is actually grilling that salmon on the Kamado Joe Classic 3 cooker. We're gonna be grilling it on an alder wood plank on one half of the grill and a soapstone on the other half of the grill. One of the beautiful aspects of the Kamado Joe cookers is that you could actually divide the cooking system and be cooking direct and indirect at the same time and using different utensils and different racks to cook your food. So today we're gonna to show you how to do some of that. Let's get going. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do on this is just load this up with charcoal. The Kamado Joe's are charcoal units, so that's the first step, getting it loaded, getting it started. So let's open this thing up and get it going. The other thing you'll just notice is I hit that latch. I love on the Kamado Joe's how they have this latch. It keeps the grill airtight, locks in all that heat, all the smoke, all the moisture of your food. It's a great design by Kamado Joe. So I just wanted to touch on that before we get this going. Now let's get started. There's a number of different ways you can light your charcoal, but we like using the electrolyte over here. This blows infrared heat and gets the charcoal lit in two minutes. Absolutely incredible. Simply press the button down onto the charcoal. We'll be going here in a couple minutes. All right, so now that our charcoal is lit, we're gonna wanna set up our uh, cooking plates here. So I'm gonna start with the soapstone. That's gonna be on the second level, so a little closer to the charcoal. We're gonna get this grill up to about 350 degrees. And because that soapstone's at the lower level, that salmon's gonna cook a little bit quicker because it's gonna be a little warmer. And the, uh, the plank's gonna be on that top level there. So that's gonna allow it just to uh, take part of that, uh, that wood flavor in a little bit longer. Uh, so it's gonna cook a few minutes longer than the, uh, the salmon on the soapstone. All right, so now that we have the rack set up, we're gonna take our alder plank here. Now we've been soaking this for a couple hours. It's recommended that you soak these anywhere between two to eight hours. That way it doesn't burn up right away when you put it on the grill. So we're gonna place this on that half rack now and let that kind of heat up with the grill. So to get to your target temperature on the Kamado Joe's, what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust your air vents. So you have the top vent here. So we're reaching for about 350 degrees. So it's actually in a good spot there. You want that about halfway open. And then on the bottom, we're gonna close this down just a little bit to about there. We might have to tinker with it a little bit more just to kind of dial it in, but that's a good setting there while this gets going. Um, and then we'll let this preheat for about 15 minutes and we'll throw our fish on. All right, now that we got our Kamado Joe preheating right now, it's time to season the fish. I love salmon because it's so simple. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oil on it, then we're gonna season it with two different seasonings today. Two of the fillets, we're gonna use John Henry sugar maple seasoning. The other two, we're gonna use John Henry's orange dill seasoning. The sugar maple fillets are actually gonna go on the alder plank. The reason we're gonna put that on the alder plank is because it's just gonna be a little sweeter. It's gonna take in a little bit more of that smoke. It's gonna be more of like a rich kind of flavored salmon. The uh, orange dill seasoning is gonna go on the soapstone. It's just gonna give a little bit of that kind of, you know, citrusy flavor to it, get a nice kind of grill on it. All right, so we're gonna season the first two with the uh, sugar maple seasoning. Um, this fish is beautiful. It was such a great experience out there in British Columbia. We got out, we had never done it before, and uh, we got out on that first day, and uh, we had a guide, it was a great guide. He uh, got our lines out there, and within about two minutes, we had 25 pound Chinook salmon on both of those rods. It was incredible, we were just kinda, kinda freaking out, you know, when the, uh, when the salmon hit, and we, uh, we jumped up, and. You feel all the weight and the force behind it, and uh, it was a real thrill. 
to be out there for uh, that short period of time and to both be reeling in fish. It was absolutely incredible. So the next two, we're gonna use our orange dill seasoning. That first day, we, uh, we went on to catch about eight more salmon. We went out for two more days, caught our limit both days. It was absolutely incredible experience that neither of us will ever forget. It's great. All right, so we have our uh, Kamado Jill up to temperature here. Let's get these bad boys on. You'll notice that that uh, alder plank has started to kind of bow a little bit as it heated up. All right, so we're gonna kind of stagger this on the, uh, on the plank here. Plank is nice and hot. It's gonna pick up some of that wood flavor. That's what we're going for. Now we have our soapstone here. Soapstone's gonna be a little hotter than that plank is, but we're putting these skin side down. We left the skin on. So what's gonna do is it's gonna sizzle. You're hearing it sizzle already. It's gonna sizzle that skin, so you're gonna get a little crispier skin. So that's gonna be nice. We have two different salmon experiences here in one cook. So that's really cool. That's why the Kamado Joe is such a nice cooker. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna wait. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna check on the soapstone salmon here in about 10 minutes or so. We'll probe it. We're looking for an internal temperature of about 130 degrees or so on this. We'll also check the uh, cedar, the alder plank, I'm sorry. Um, and then we'll see uh, what that temperature is at. That'll probably go a few extra minutes longer. So we'll check back here in a little bit. All right, so the uh, soapstone salmon is definitely done. We just took the reading. We're gonna pull that off. The uh, plank salmon still got a couple minutes to go. It's almost there, but let's get this uh, soapstone salmon off now. Yeah, you can tell on the soapstone, it did a nice job crisping up the skin. So this is gonna be delicious. So this skin, super firm. It's hard even, so it's gonna be nice and crispy. This will be a nice bite. And then the salmon is just super tender. You can see some of the white uh, fat starting to kind of leak from it. That's a good telltale sign that it's done. So this is gonna be really nice and tender, but it's gonna have a nice crunch all the way through when you get to the bottom of the skin there. All right, so these are definitely done. The plank salmon still got a couple more minutes, but that's super close. So we're gonna let that finish. We'll put it on the tray and we'll do the taste test. All right, so that uh, plank salmon's definitely done at this point. We just took the reading on it. It's right at that 125 mark, which is perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the whole plank off the grill. I'll place that right on our plate here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that beautiful color on it. You can see some of that fat coming through. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so obviously what we did today was two different cooking styles with this salmon. So I wanted to show you that you could definitely cook salmon a couple different ways. And you could even do it in a couple different ways at the same time on the Kamado Joe Classic, which is pretty incredible. If you're somebody that likes salmon with the skin on, you like some crispy skin, then grilling it the way that we did on a soapstone or on a griddle is a nice way to prepare it. If you like it more of like a smoky salmon, you're not a big fan of the skin, and you want that salmon to just kind of peel off the skin and get a bite that way, then doing it on a cedar plank or doing it indirectly is a great way to do it that way. So uh, now it's time to eat. I've been smelling this. Let's see how they taste. Oh. So you can see how flaky it is. That's how you know it's cooked well, super moist. Um, now it's just about how it tastes. That's pretty good. I'll be honest with you, I've always been a smoked salmon kind of guy. That crunch you get from that skin, the way that, that was grilled at a higher temperature on that soapstone, that's a nice added element to it. All right, the salmon on the solder plank's got a lot to live up to after that soapstone salmon. That was absolutely incredible, but uh, I'm more of a sweetie kind of guy when it comes to like my seasoning. So this would be a little sweeter, a little bit more, uh, more of my speed. So let's just see how it is. Oh wow, you can see all the fat kind of dripping from that. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All right, my consensus, and salmon's delicious, especially when you have a Kamado Joe Classic to cook it. However you do it, you're gonna absolutely love it. This salmon's gonna be great over a bed of wild rice with some fresh vegetables. You can make B salmon BLTs out of it. I mean, salmon's so versatile. Chop it up, put it in salads. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend you check it out on the Kamado Joe Classic 3. Well, this salmon was absolutely delicious. Thank you guys so much for joining us for part two of our salmon cooking series. Um, at this point, I don't know if the smoked salmon on the Yoder pellet smoker was better than any of the salmon we did today on the uh, Kamado Joe Classic 3. All I know is it's all awesome. It really helps to have a cooker uh, like the Kamado Joe Classic. So thank you so much for joining us. Look out for part three of our salmon cooking series where we're going to be cooking on the Cook and Dine Teppanyaki Griddle. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining. <laughs>